Hey everybody, welcome back to another season of Sportsman's Journal. Tyler and I are ready to kick off our season. We, we are. are up here on early ice at Trapper's Landing Lodge, just outside of Walker, Minnesota. They've done some updates to the resort. They've added Can some- Can it get new... any better? I they updated it? They did, they've, they've added some they new did. homes. Yes. They call them beachside lake homes. Beautiful. Um, we're in a lake home, the beachside homes right off the lake again, beautiful. If you get a chance to check them out, yeah. do so. Great but, place. Um, okay, now we're ready to kick off fishing. We are, we're ready to kick off fishing. If you guys remember an episode from last year, we came up and only one of us was able to fish. And that was me. And it was an epic bluegill bite in the weeds. And he had the very unique Yeah, and I had the pipe come through the, the hole. The had the pipe come up. If you guys remember that episode, the bite was fantastic. But one of the things during the episode while we were filming in the weeds is I kept seeing fish just outside on the edge kind of roaming around a bunch of fish. And I was thinking, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking those are slab crappies. And I'm working these bluegills. So that's been on my mind for a whole year that I want to get back out. And I, I was wanna... a little jealous. I didn't yeah, and you couldn't it. join me. You had to watch Reggie, which happens. But th that, that whole image on top of my locator that I was seeing all those fish out there stuck with me. So I want to get out there and find out what that is. And that's what we're going to do today. Yeah, so we're up here on early ice, but we have gotten a lot of snow this of snow, season already. Yeah. So a lot of snow means a couple things. Yeah, it means a couple things. First one is, how long are those weeds going to hold right. fish? They need sunlight, obviously. Yep. Once to those stay weeds green. die, they're kicking out. Yeah, once that once that happens, they're out. And not a lot of ice means not a lot of pressure, not a lot of trucks, We're not hoping, a lot of yeah. wheelhouses driving yeah. over these spots. That's going to keep the fish there. But the more ice you get, more traffic. So we got to hit this up quick, but I'm excited because of those fish I saw last year. I know they're crappies. Hopefully we can get on them. If not, I guess we're going to have to search out a little bit further yeah. out, but we'll see. Everybody stay tuned. A brand new year sportsman's journal, a whole bunch of new episodes and adventures. Stay with us. We'll be right back after word from our partners. If the rest of the day continues to go as it's gone the last 20 yeah. minutes or so, right. it's going to be We just got epic. set up a little bit ago. Sarah just said 20 minutes ago. And we set up. I'm not even going to drop down right now. You're not going to even go down there? There's fish down there. I know. OK, yeah. What okay. we did is we, we, we found it. a spot with our electronics. We kind of marked that big pot of fish right on the edge of the weeds. So we're excited about that because that's what I was talking about last year. So yep, I'd like we found to see that, that. weed edge, dropped off we a little We drilled bit. a couple holes. Because it's shallow here, we're in 12 foot. The fish skedaddled. We kind of spooked them. Mm -hmm. So we were a little nervous, but we set up and we actually caught five or six already. So that's a good sign. No, yes. Nothing huge. No. Mm -mm, and it's but... a mixed bag. We caught a couple crappies, a couple gill. But that's that's what it's all about when you're fishing this weed line is you want to find, you're looking for inside turns, pockets. What we happen to be on right now is a transition and you can see it on Sarah's locator where the bottom is a little softer and it gets a little harder up where the weeds are. So that's a transition where those fish are cruising. They're, they're not quite in the weeds and they're not all the way out in the mud. They're right on that break. Mm -hmm. Took the aqua view and dropped her down, and sure enough, there was a big pot of bluegills roaming around out there and a couple crappies mixed in. So I'm re really excited about this. Like you said, we got a couple on the ice already. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna kind of pick off a couple big ones, hopefully. Got one coming right now. What do you have your sensitivity at over there? Because those look huge. There, I got them. Whoa. Yeah, this feels good. This is either a slab or it could be. Oh, did he just pick your? Come here, buddy. Yes. That's a nice one. There we go. I like it. You, he, know, how, you he, know how me and slabs are. He played cat and mouse with you yeah, a little he bit. he played cat and mouse a little bit, but he was a nice mark when he came up there. Yes, he was. Came up kind of a little, a little, whoop, 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 easy. Let me get a handle on I'm you. I'm not happy. A little slow on the uptake at first. Mm -hmm. He came up really slow, looked mm -hmm. at it, didn't really chase it, but you know what? There, Sarah's got doubles. Nice job. Put him back in there. Good fish. Oh, this is so fun. How's he feel? Feels good. He's pulling yeah. drag. Oh, it's a crappie. Little guy. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's not little. Yeah, he wasn't what I just caught. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, look at that. I'll put him back. You can tell it's a crappie because he just barely taps it like that. Yeah. And you just lift up real <laughs> oh sensitive. Wow, the fish are just stacked mm -hmm. in here right now. Hey, this ain't a bad fish right here, guys. You this got another nice this one. Ain't I mean, look at it. This ain't a bad slabber. If slam. you can get him. I got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's another nice guy. Wow. The old pre-rig tungsten hanging out of the old mouth. I like that. This is awesome. I like that a lot. Heavy. Gets down there quick, right? When the fish are rolling oh, through. I thought you meant the fish was heavy. Oh, no. Fish is not heavy. <laughs> Floppy. We'll put him back in there. We'll see him later. Look at that release. <laughs> Oh, 
got a little excited there. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Get That's a nice gill. Yes. Nice job, Sarah. That's a nice gill. Big gill. I'm going to give myself just That's a, a dandy. hair more slack. And... <laughs> Hold that thing up there. That is a bull. He's starting to get a hump on his head. Yeah, He's going crazy doing circles. That's why we're fishing right on the weed line right there. We're after these big bluegills. They're early season, utilizing the weeds, eating what's coming off the weeds. And he was like, hmm. They're eating tungsten, we know what that, right? Yeah. yeah. Got him? Yeah. There you go. It looked like a good night. You don't even let me get in my seat. You got a big fish. Oh, is that a gill? No, is that a gill? No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, huge crappie. Get him, buddy. Get him. <laughs> I'm watching out for that tungsten flying at the old face. Yeah, Look at sorry. that fish. Nice. That's a dandy. I said he looked like a good mark. Wow. Oh, and he, I was jigging pretty. <laughs> what did you do? Slip water in my mouth. Did you? I was jigging pretty aggressively. Yeah. And. Um, he came in and like swiped and then came down came and came back and yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, there's fish cruising all over the place right now. Oh my gosh. Place. Nice job. I love, I, you know what I'm starting to love big crappies too. See, I told and you. When it's a big crappie and you see that big mouth come up, oh man, that's a good one. They're easy to fall in love with, wow. let me tell you. We've been talking a lot today about Northland's new rig tungsten jigs and rightfully so. Uh, they have produced to say the least. And one big thing I like about the tungsten over in lead, and we talk about this a lot with tungsten, and everybody kind of knows this, that, that fish is a lot of tungsten, it's heavy, right? Yeah. And the 1 16th ounce he jig head size on these rig tungsten jigs, really, really small. Yeah, almost you would like, never no, they eyeball almost, that. I would say that's a 1 32nd, right. maybe even smaller than that. Mm -hmm. But that's 1 16th, so it, it's that micro size, which is really nice, but it's heavy. So it gets down on these big pods of roaming crappies that we're fishing on this weed line. It gets down to them quick. So you see them, you drop your on them. Well, There's no waiting. Which is advantageous because we're catching them. We're getting fish up the hole and then we're seeing them beneath us. So we want to get right back yeah. down there and get on top right. of those slabs. So exactly. we can keep, I mean, it's, it's hand over fist at times. Yeah. They make three different options, three different body styles. We both grab the mini smelt. Right. Yeah. We, we've, we just caught a lot of big panfish mm -hmm. on that minnow imitation. And, and the mini smelt fits the bill perfect. It, uh, they come in two different sizes. So they come in 128th and 116th. And we both went with 116th because we wanted to get down there faster. Yeah, it's kind did. of a you know, competition. Yep. The fish are coming in and they see it, they come up and whack it. It is. And they're, we call it Not climbing the mountain hesitation. when they come way up. Yeah. There are a lot yeah, of fish are climbing the mountain to get at the tungsten. Uh, well, I already got one. There you go. Hold on. <laughs> there are a lot of fish in the area. He's yeah, pulling a little bit. There's a big fish right here that I'm marking. Big really? Old, you got another big banana? old banana down. Oh, I just saw him flash. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah. Oh, oh, that's yeah. a nice one. Hey, oh. maybe we got a couple of big slabs rolling through. That's a donkey right there, hon. That's a nice one. Oh my one. gosh, yes, you yes, got yes, same guys. Size? Yes, we got maybe, hey, maybe a little bigger. Tad bigger. Oh my gosh, Trampy. Got him. Yes. Oh. Check that out right there. <laughs> yeah, folks. yours is bigger. Look wow. at that. Holy cow. Wow. That's awesome. Now we're having fun. A couple of, oh my goodness. And look at there, are, are that little tungsten jig is in there. Do you need a player? Yes, they're gobbling it up. I got one here. I love this. What's the colors we got, hon? Gold, you got gold? Mine is gold, and you know I remember? Why? Because I like awesome powers and gold members. Oh, you like gold members? Gold! I mean, I got this thing hooked. I love gold. Like a million bucks, holy cow. And yours is, I believe. I got the coolest bait name of all time. <laughs> the tiger beetle. There we go, got it. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Huh? Nice. That's what? fun. You got a 12 and I got a 12 and a half 13er? Yeah. Just a couple beasts. That is Are fun. we having fun? I would, I would say this qualifies. This is unbelievable. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. To see their full lineup of men's, women's, and youth ice fishing apparel, visit strikerbrands.com. True crappie fashion. Underneath. You're getting the bigger dogs with the gold. Oh no. Oh no. Is he in there? I think he just came out. 
Uh-oh. Oh, you just whacked no. her again. Big fish. I don't know. I haven't I got seen a him. giant rolling up. That's a nice Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, I got one, too. Oh, yes, my God. Sarah. Get him. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look what I got. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Mine's a good fish, but it's dwarfed by your gigantic. Yes. <laughs> Oh. That is the guy we were waiting for, right there. I and I'm over here dealing with this. You're still messing I'm, around. I'm with drooling. <laughs> You're just still good. I saw your fish, and I actually I spit a little bit because so excited. Uh, this is a nice crap, dude. They are just swallowing these tungsten jigs. Something fierce. That's a nice fish. We're gonna measure this fish. Yeah, we're gonna take Sarah, some pictures of it. Awesome. And, oh my goodness. Now that I'm I'm working with a 12 inch right there. That this fish is, you have is. Enormous. That fish came in. Holy cow. From my side on the panoptic, zoomed Dang. over, came up underneath, you know, I mean, you can literally see inches of slack in the line yeah. when these come up underneath and just suck Phenomenal. that in. I'm gonna put her back now. Let her go back down and join her friends. Oh man, that was, chalk another one up for the tungsten. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can't believe the amount of quality fish that we are catching today. Yeah, we're and catching lots. I got. Another giant yellow Action mark oriented. I mean, we've been catching fish all day. There haven't been many lulls. And I think some of that credit has got to be given to the fact that we're on early ice. Yeah. You know, um, we're out here and there's about seven to eight inches of ice. And so that means usually the, the trucks aren't coming out yet. Right. The wheelhouses aren't coming out yet. And so we're finding the fish. They're still utilizing the weed lines. These fish are just off that first drop off. Oh, I missed one, hon. Keep going. You're, you're, I love your talk so far. <laughs> they're just, you know, right off that first drop off. So it's a little bit easier for us because once they move out to the basin, mm -hmm. they're going to be roaming. Yeah. We got to wait. You know, there's periods exactly. of slow time. But I think an, an important thing to note is, you know, that the fish are not going to be here for long. Exactly. And as we got a big snowfall. They yeah, got a big snow up, up here last week. They got like eight, nine inches. I got a fish. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And, I watched him and what that means when that happens is that's going to cut some sunlight out and that weeds. Oh, look at that. Nice little gill. Oh, yeah. And the weeds are going to start to die they, a little quicker. They are. lose oxygen. So those fish yeah. are going to move out deeper anyway. Yeah, yeah. But now it's so important to be out here and find that weed line. We're kind of in a transition from, you know, were just three off. or four inches of ice yeah. where they're up in those weeds in yeah. the shallow six, seven, eight feet. Yeah. And they're starting to come off right now. We're, we're fishing in that 11 to 12 foot, but it's right on the edge. Aggressively feeding. Right? You come and... back in a month, and that's what Josh said. This spot is phenomenal early. You come back in a month, those fish are all out 25, 30 and there foot. are two big marks and on he's the screen up right on now. Me yeah, hard, you, right? I got one coming to me, too. Oh, I got him. Wow. Are these big marks? They look big. I like that. I like big slabs. Whoa, it could come up like a bass. But he's not. It's a nice slab. Don't look at this one, guys. Look at this one. Yes. There, I got mine, too. You got yours, too. Nice job, Sarah. Man, they are just engulfing this. This is unbelievable. That is a, oh my goodness. I can't wait to see yours. We're gonna do, we're gonna see, we're gonna see who wins. That is a nice slab right there though. So you got a nice fish. Oh no, How you did got he, just, do he that? just flipped around the hole. Get him up. You got him. That's a good one. Those yeah. are two dandies. Look at that. They're twins. Twins, Basil. <laughs> that is no nice one right wins. there. No one wins. <laughs> I don't or know. We're both winners. You don't, you don't think anybody wins? Yeah, I think we're winners tonight. We're That's winners. phenomenal. And one thing that I want to touch on real quick here is that that knot over time will slip and go almost horizontal with the bait. And you want that knot to be vertical, straight up and down. That allows the bait to lay properly like it's supposed to, horizontal in the water. You can see it right there, kind of dangling horizontal. When that line gets, if that knot moves, it's going to lay vertical. Mm -hmm. And those fish we've watched on the aqua view today, they come up and if it's horizontal, they suck it in. If right. it's vertical more, they kind of just kind of look at it and it doesn't look right. It spins a little bit. Yep. You want that bait to lay horizontal. So always check that knot, especially after, you know, five, six, seven, eight, 20, 30 fish like we're catching. Check that knot to make sure it's in the proper spot and that jig will, will operate perfect down there. And the fish, you're gonna get a lot more strikes with it. The fish are gonna think it's more natural. Mm -hmm. They're gonna yeah. slap it. Nice job. You wallop it. I think it's a gill. Is it? That looks like a big gill. Look at that. No. Thing is bulldogging you. Yeah, he is. You need help over there with the bluegill? I don't Sometimes bluegill yeah. take you. It's oh my gosh. A really nice up. bluegill. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay, wow. I don't even know what to do here. Oh my goodness. Uh, I want to show him off for the camera, yeah, but got I, him behind everything. I know, but You're I wanted to just him. get him out of the hole. Oh, that's a nice bluegill. That's I a thought it was a beast. bluegill. Ha <laughs> that is that feels good. Yeah, that's awesome. I haven't caught a really, really nice bluegill in a while, and this is a... That's, that's a toad. A, 
That's a really nice that bluegill. That is a giant. Wow. Good job, Sarah. Thank you. Yeah, Good when fish. you can lip the bluegill. Yeah. When you, hey, when you're treating a bluegill like a crappie once you get them out of the hole, yeah. you got yourself a dandy. Yeah, you got it. And I, I think that we should talk about our rod. I think, you know, in, in today's environment, especially with, you know, um, you can look anything up instantly in social media and stuff, and people are posting, uh, a lot of people are posting their opinions on what rods to use and why. And, right. Um, I think it's easy to get caught up in, oh, I have to use this or I have to use this for the situation. And you don't have to use an exact rod. So Tyler and I are using the same lure, but we fish a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. And so today we actually picked up different style rods because I'm going to take a little bit of an ego hit. <laughs> I'm going to give Tyler some credit. First time ever. Is that he's, recording? <laughs> he's better at crappie fishing than I am. He's more experienced with it. He can feel the bite better. And I am known for ripping hooks out of the crappie's mouth. Yeah. I just do it. I have seen it a hundred times. It, I, Set the hook up comes the you know up comes my jig with no no fish so um, I have to go a little bit slower so I picked a 28 inch it's a Kramer custom rod 28 inch wall banger series I had Eric make for me so I'm feeling the bite further back in my rod so it gives me an extra second for that fish to take the hook right it's just giving me more confidence right. than watching my rod tip pit pulling the hook up with no fish yeah and I've been watching you I can see the fish tap your rod first and you give it like a second yep. to set the hook and your rod, you got a lot more bend in your rod than I do on mine. And that's that's a big thing, like you said, for ripping hooks. Mm -hmm. Mine, I got the six shooter, which is kind of his traditional panfish rod. Right, yeah. But it's got a little bit stiffer rod. It's a fast action, faster action, so the, the bend kind of hits quicker to the meat of the rod. So it's a little more stiff towards the tip. And I like that because I can feel that vibration of my tungsten jig head down there because I'm popping a lot more. And I like to feel that weight down there constantly yeah. tick, tick, tick on the tip of my rod because when I feel that lure stop, to fish better hook sets than say that moderate if I'm using that same technique. Yep. So I like that. That's a very good point you bring up because you're right. A lot of guys think, oh, I got to get this specific rod. Depends how you fish, and that's why Absolutely. that's why buying a rod from a custom rod maker such as Kramer Custom Rod, he can tell you exactly. He'll ask you the questions. What do you like to use? How yep. do you like to mm -hmm. how do you like to fish? Or what bait do you like to use? And he'll make you a perfect There's custom a rod that fits what you need. Fish. I see the size of that thing. Look at that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's a big slab. Okay. Yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. I'm paralyzed with oh, fear over here. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's basically what I just did. Look at that. I was like, Holy I'm just going to sit and watch the, watch the show. Big old slab. <laughs> that is a big <laughs> one. Wow. Pounded it. Oh he pulled a little gosh. bit of drag, so. You, you know what? We haven't really touched on this a whole lot yet, but the thing about the tungsten, and I mean, if you fish with tungsten, you know it's heavy, right? really dense so it gets down there fast and when you're seeing the bigger fish coming in on your electronics you want to get down there yes. as fast as you possibly can because when you've got big slabs like this rolling through you got to get down there and that tungsten gets down there super fast mm -hmm. it does yeah way faster than just lead jigs and i'm telling you right now it's paying dividends look at the size of that slab i love it yeah that's a that's <sighs> a dandy every time we come up here to trappers to stay at trappers we are on fish mm -hmm. i'm telling you folks if you're looking to take an ice fishing trip somewhere you got to get up here you gotta give josh a call the fishing is phenomenal. And the, the accommodation, accommodation is top -notch. wonderful. This is just a blast. Let's get that big boy back in there. See you later. Wow. They just keep biting. I feel like I need to take a minute <laughs> I know. and just absorb. I mean, this day was incredible, nonstop. There's more fish on the screen. I, know, I can't I see them. I know. It, the, our best right now is just don't look at it. <laughs> if you look down at your electronics, just you're going to want to go back down there. There's so many fish. That's a great problem to have. Yeah, it is. Those are the problems. Those are the problems the sportsman's journal likes to encounter almost every time we go <laughs> filming. It doesn't happen all the time. No. But those are problems mm -hmm. we like. Yes, yes. I would agree. We had a great time. Blast. And you know what? That's kind of becoming the norm when we come up here to Trappers. I was going to say, big shout out to Josh Boulevard yep. and Trappers Landing Lodge. They do a phenomenal job. Yep. Um, Josh keeps his finger on the pulse as far as fishing goes and yep. tells people where to go, helps you out. Yep. Um, and what do you think about the new rig tungsten jigs from Northland? Well, you know, I would say from the day that we had, it was phenomenal. They but produce. I, we should also talk about, just real quick, the soft plastic versus live bait. Yeah because we were able to, with the amount of fish that we had on our screens, yeah. over and over and over again, we were able to catch, release, 
and drop right back right. down. No reason to reload putting larva on or putting waxy, no. which takes time. And those yeah. fish are coming through. I feel and like right now would be a good time to have a montage of someone like opening their wax rooms and then they spill. Oh, because they see so many of them. Oh, and they're scrambling. <laughs> yeah. You don't gotta do that with it's the a big tongue. You take a hook out of fish's mouth, drop back down mm -hmm. hole, set hook. Yeah. I like it. That's it's a three-step really process. Good. New baits are always fun to use. Yeah. I mean, the tungsten jig head's really cool, it but they got the, the perfect little micro bodies mm -hmm. on there, catch a lot of fish. And you know what? Next time we come out here, we're probably gonna come out here tomorrow just because there's so many fish. We are planning on coming out tomorrow and just kind of fun fishing, so. Right, I'm gonna use the blood worm tomorrow. Are you gonna try a little yeah, something gonna, different? We're gonna see which one's better. I'm blood gonna try, I'm gonna use pink. Are you? It's uh, fruit fly. Fruit fly color? I knew yeah. you were gonna go pink. You have to. <laughs> yeah. Everybody, hope you guys enjoyed it. We know we did. It was yeah. awesome. We appreciate Great time. you watching. Yeah, we'll see y'all next time on the Sportsman's Journal. Rigged tungstenized jigs from Northland Tackle. The tungsten mud bug head has an oversized gap that hooks more fish. And the unique bug and bait fish bodies mimic preferred panfish forage. Northland Tackle. We are panfish. We are ice.